The drama prince Vaidurya Light arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, I can still remember back through ends as many as the sands in the Ganges to the time of a Buddha named Limitless Sound, who instructed the Bodhisattvas that fundamental enlightenment is wonderful and bright. He taught them to contemplate this world and all the beings in it as false conditions propelled by the power of wind. At that time, I contemplated the position of the world and I regarded the passage of time in the world. I reflected on the movement and stillness in my body. I considered the arising of thoughts in the mind. All these kinds of movement were not dual, they were equal and the same. I then understood that the nature of movement does not come from anywhere and does not go anywhere. Every single material particle throughout the ten directions and every upside down living being in it is of the same empty falseness. And so throughout the three thousand great thousand worlds, the living beings in each of the worlds were like so many mosquitoes confined in a trap and droning monotonously, caught in those few square inches, their hum built to a maddening crescendo. Not long after I encountered the Buddha, I attained patience with the non-production of dharmas. My mind then opened and I could see the country of the Buddha unmoving in the east. I became the Dharma prince and served the Buddhas of the ten directions. My body and mind emit a light that make them completely clear and translucent. The Buddha asks about perfect penetration. I contemplated the power of wind as lacking anything to rely on, and I awakened to the Buddha mind. I entered Samadhi and mastered with the single wonderful mind transmitted by all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. This is the foremost method. Treasury of Emptiness Bodhisattva arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and says to the Buddha, The first component I attained by these bodies at the place of the Buddha Samadhi Light. At that time I held in my hands four huge precious pearls which shone on Buddha lands as many as the moss of dust in the ten directions and transformed them into emptiness. In my mind, there appeared a great perfect mirror which emitted from within ten kinds of subtle, wonderful, precious light that poured out into the ten directions to the farthest bounds of emptiness. All the royal lands of banners came into the mirror and passed into my body. There was no hindrance to this interaction because my body was like emptiness. My body could enter with ease as many countries as they are fine most of dust and could do the Buddha's work on a wide scale because it had become completely compliant. I achieved this great spiritual power from contemplating in detail how the four elements like anything to return to, how the production and extinction of false stars is no different from emptiness, how all the Buddha lands are basically the same. Once I realized this identity, I obtained patience with the non-production of dharmas. The Buddha asks about perfect penetration. I used the contemplation of the boundlessness of emptiness to enter samadhi and attain wonderful power and perfect clarity. This is the foremost method. My Acharya Bodhisattva arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, I remember when, as many compass ago as they are find most of dust, a Buddha named Light of Sun, Moon, and Lamp appeared in the world. Under that Buddha, I left a home life, yet I was deeply committed to worldly fame and liked to fraternize with people of good family. Then the world honored one taught me to cultivate consciousness only concentration, and I entered that samadhi. 
For many ends, I have made use of that samadhi as I performed deeds for as many Buddhas as their sons in the Ganges. My seeking for worldly name and fame ceased completely and never recurred. When burning lamp Buddha appeared in the world, I finally accomplished the unsurpassed, wonderfully perfect samadhi of consciousness. I went on until to the ends of emptiness, all the lands of the thirst come one, whether pure or defined, existent or non-existent, were transformations appearing from within my own mind, world honored one, because I understand consciousness only thus, the nature of consciousness reveals limitless thus commands. Now I have received the prediction that I will be the next to take the Buddha's place. The Buddha asks about perfect penetration. I was intent upon the contemplation that the ten directions come only from consciousness. When the conscious mind is perfect and bright, one enters the perfection of the real. One leaves behind reliance on others and attachment to incessant calculating and attains the patience with the non-production of dharmas. This is the foremost method. Dharma brings great strength together with the 52 bodhisattvas of similar rank, arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, I remember when, as many ends ago as their sense in the Ganges, a Buddha called Limitless Light appeared in the world. In that same end, there were 12 successive first come ones. The last was called Light Surpassing the Sun and Moon. That Buddha taught me the Buddha recitation samadhi. Suppose that there were a person who always remembers someone else, but the someone else he remembers has entirely forgotten about him. If two such people were to meet, even if they were to see each other, they would not take notice, they would not recognize each other. If two people remember each other until the memory of each is deep, then in life after life they will be together like a form and is a shadow, and they will never be at odds. Out of pity for living beings, the thirst commands of the ten directions are mindful of them as a mother remembers her child. If the child runs away, of what use is the mother's regard? But if the child remembers his mother in the same way that the mother remembers the child, then in life after life, the mother and child will not be far apart. If living beings remember the Buddha and are mindful of the Buddha, certainly they will see the Buddha now and or in the future. They will never be far from the Buddha and their minds will awaken by themselves without the aid of expedience. A person who has been near incense will carry a fragrance on his person. It is the same in this case. It is called an adornment of fragrant light. On the causal ground, I used mindfulness of the Buddha to enter into patience with the non-production of dharmas. Now in this world, I gather in all those who are mindful of the Buddha and bring them back to the pure land. The Buddha asks about perfect penetration. I would select none other than gathering in the six organs through continuous pure mindfulness to obtain samadhi. This is a foremost method. Then Kwashin Bodhisattva arose from his seat bowed at the Buddha's feet and said to the Buddha, Won't honored one, I remember when, as many compass ago as their sons in the Ganges, there was a Buddha in the world named Contemplating the World's House. It was under that Buddha that I brought forth the Bodhi Resolve. That Buddha taught me to enter Samadhi through a process of hearing and reflecting. Initially, I entered the flow through hearing and forgot objective states. Since the sense objects and sense organs were quiet, the two characteristics of movement and stillness crystallized and did not arise. After that, gradually advancing, 
the hearing and what was heard both disappeared. Once the hearing was ended, there was nothing to rely on and awareness and the objects of awareness became empty. When the emptiness of awareness reached an ultimate perfection, emptiness and what was being emptied then also ceased to be. Since production and extinction were gone, still extinction was revealed. Suddenly, I transcended the mundane and transcendental worlds and throughout the ten directions, a perfect brightness prevailed. I obtained two supreme states. First, I was united above with the fundamental, wonderfully enlightened mind of all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions, and I gained a strength of compassion equal to that of all the Buddhas, the first ones. Second, I was united below with all living beings in the six paths and I gained a kind regard for all living beings equally. World honored one because I served and made offerings to the first come one, Kuan Yin. I received from that first come one a transmission of the virus samadhi of all being like an illusion as one becomes permitted with the hearing and cultivates hearing. Because I gained a power of compassion identical with that of all Buddhas, the Thus Kamas, I became accomplished in 32 response bodies and entered all lands. World Honored One If there are Bodhisattvas who enter Samadhi and vigorously cultivate the extinction of our flows, who have a superior understanding and manifest perfect penetration, I will appear in the body of a Buddha and speak Dharma for them, causing them to attain liberation. If there are those who are studying, who are tranquil and have wonderful clarity, who are superior and miraculous and manifest perfection, I will appear before them in the body of a solitarily enlightened one and speak Dharma for them, causing them to attain liberation. If there are those who are studying, who have severed the travelings of conditioned causation and, having severed the conditions, reveal a supreme nature and who are superior and wonderful and manifest perfection, I will appear before them in the body of one enlightened to conditions and speak drama for them, causing them to attain liberation. If there are those who are studying, who have attained the emptiness of the four truths and cultivating the way, have entered extinction and have a superior nature and manifest perfection. I will appear before them in the body of a sound hearer and speak drama for them, causing them to attain liberation. If there are living beings who wish to have their minds be clear and awakened, who do not engage in mundane desires, and wish to purify their bodies, I will appear before them in the body of a Brahma king and speak a drama for them, causing them to attain liberation. If they are living beings who wish to be their heavenly lord, leader of heavenly beings, I will appear before them in the body of chakra and speak a drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If living beings wish to attain physical self-mastery and to roam throughout the ten directions, I will appear before them in the body of God from the heaven of self-mastery and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are living beings who wish to attain physical self-mastery and fly through space, I will appear before them in the body of a God from the heaven of great self-mastery and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are living beings who are fond of ruling over ghosts and spirits in order to rescue and protect their country, I will appear before them in the body of a great heavenly general and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are living beings who like to govern the world in order to protect living beings. I will appear before them in the body of one of the four heavenly kings and speak drama for them, 
enabling them to accomplish their wish. If they are living beings who enjoy being born in their heavenly places and to command ghosts and spirits, I will appear before them in the body of a prince from the kingdoms of the four heavenly kings and speak dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If they are living beings who would like to be kings of pupil, I will appear before them in the body of a human king and speak dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If they are living beings who enjoy being heads of households whom those of the world venerate and yield to, I will appear before them in the body of an elder and speak dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If they are living beings who delight in discussing the classics and who keep themselves lofty and pure, I will appear before them in the body of an Ubasaka and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If they are living beings who enjoy governing the country and who can handle matters of state decisively, I will appear before them in the body of an official and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If they are living beings who like reckoning and incantation and who wish to guard and protect them themselves, I will appear before them in the body of a Brahman and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are men who want to live the home life and uphold the precepts and rules, I will appear before them in the body of a bishop and speak dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are women who would like to live the home life and hold the pure precepts, I will appear before them in the body of a bishuni and speak dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are men who want to uphold the five precepts, I will appear before them in the body of an upasaka and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are women who wish to base themselves in the five precepts, I will appear before them in the body of an upasaka and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are women who govern internal affairs of household or country, I will appear before them in the body of a queen, first lady or noble woman and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are virgin ladies, I will appear before them in the body of a pure youth and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are maidens who want to remain virgins and do not wish to marry, I will appear before them in the body of a gracious lady and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are heavenly beings who wish to escape their heavenly destiny, I will appear in the body of a god and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are dragons who want to quit their lot of being dragons, I will appear before them in the body of a dragon and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are yakshas who want to get out of their present fate, I will appear before them in the body of a yaksha and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are Gandavas who wish to be freed from their destiny, I will appear before them in the body of a Gandava and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are Asuras who wish to be liberated from their destiny, I will appear before them in the body of an Asura and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are Kinaras, who wish to trans uh, transcend their fate, I will appear before them in the body of a Kinara and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are Mahoragas who wish to be freed from their destiny, I will appear before them in the body of a Mahoraga and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. 
if they are living beings who like being pupil and want to continue to be pupil, I will appear in the body of a person and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If they are non-humans, whether with form or without form, whether with thought or without thought, who long to be freed from their destiny, I will appear before them in a body like theirs and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. This is called the wonderful purity of the 32 response bodies by which one enters into all lands and accomplishes self-mastery by means of the samadhi of becoming permitted with hearing and cultivating hearing and by means of the miraculous strength of the focusness.